right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three more rounds of Muay Thai in the 115 weight division. Now fighting out of the red corner, she's wearing the black trunks with the gold star. And she represents Rajazi Muay Thai with a record of 5-4-1 from Boston, Massachusetts, Jeanette Pitbull Galuzian. And fighting out of the blue corner, she's wearing the red trunks and weighing in at 115 pounds. She represents King's Combat Fitness with a 1-0 record from Queens, New York. Give it up for Noriko Villar. Okay, fighters, you both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Let's go. Let's come out fighting. So here we go. It's back to the ladies on Friday night fights. Noriko Villar on the left side of your screen, out of King's Combat Fitness in Rigo Park, taking on a first timer on Friday night fights. Jeanette, the Pitbull Galusian. From Rajasi Muay Thai in Boston, it's Villar, who had a knockout in her debut last year, coming out strong against Galuzian here. Villar's coming out hot, throwing straight punches, moving forward. Almost a mirror image of her first fight back in November against Pre Jindal. She came storming out of the gate and scored a first round TKO. And right, out, right from the get-go, she establishes her punching power against Galuzian. Villar, no spring chicken at 40 years old, but she doesn't look it at all. In tremendous shape. Great shape. Fighting under Dave Waymoy, a native of Fukuoka, Japan. Now she calls Queens home. And manhandling the pit bull here in the clinch. Villar locking up Jeanette Galuzian here, but now it's the pit bull charging forward, but a turn by Villar, and she's back in control. Halfway through this first round, oh, fighting at 115 are these two fighters. Villar in the red trunks, Jeanette Galuzian in the all black. Villar is five foot three, Galuzian is five one. Villar's doing a good job of off balancing her, setting up opportunities for those knees, and when she's coming forward, she's coming forward, straight hard punches and just moving the pit bull back across the ring. And, and sitting down on those punches is Noriko Villar. Straight right for Galusian gets in there. Villar missed with the straight right, but then came across the bow with a left hook. Galusian. There she goes, straight right connects. Galusian checks away the teep and then comes forward with a right hand of her own. Lower leg kick by Jeanette Galusian, and there's the bell. Pippa living up to her name, though. There's no backing down on her. She's game. She recovered from the early onslaught by Noriko Villar. No first round knockout this time around. But a really impressive beginning for the 40 year old fighter who makes her second appearance on Friday Night Fights. And that's right out of the gate. The straight punches marching across the ring. And that's uh, sometimes, Mike, you see the inexperienced fighters. Forget that a little bit, how effective a straight punch can be. They want to wing it from their hips and from down low and do all these crazy haymakers, but it's the straight shot that straight can do punches, the most damage. Straight punches, beat round punches, you know, shortest distance to a point. And when, you know, fighters just coming straight forward or back and straight up, that's the way to chase them down. Now give Galuzian a ton of credit. This is her first appearance on Friday Night Fights. And She's up against the hometown crowd here. L big cheering section for Noriko Villar, but Galusian kind of shook off that early combo from Villar and got herself right back in the round late. Now it's round two. Chance of Noriko rain down at the Broad Street Ballroom. Villar's doing a good job of throwing those straight hands and keeping her distance. Galusian's been the one coming forward so far in the second round. Knee to the body in the clinch for Villar. Galuzian answers. Back and forth we go. There's the put the pit bull. As like she had the shape like, of Villar. Um, she's just definitely has more muscle on her frame, has the leverage, and the clinch. She's just able to put have her way. Turning 
turning the pit bull left and right any way she wants, really keeping her back in the corner. Galuzian again in the all black, Villar in the red and black trunks, and Villar just has one fight to her credit, while Galuzian has 10. She's 5 4 and 1. Villar is 1 0, oh, but it's been Villar who's been in control so far for the round and a half we've seen between these two women. Oh, Villar seems very composed. Coming out of Kings, you know, they got great trainers there, good fight team. So she's probably had her battles and her experience in the gym and sparring. So this is no surprise to her how she's performing tonight. Jeanette Galuzian loading up on the body kick. Villar answers. Villar's teep checked away. Nice form by Galuzian. Almost an elbow by Villar here. It's a modified rules matchup. Got to be careful. Good jab lands there. Good glove work by Villar. Sticks in a right now. Galuzian pops forward. Overhand rights by Galuzian, and back comes Villar. Oh, boy, a slugfest these, breaking out these here. These girls are trading in the center of the ring right now. Reaching right hand by Villar to cap off an action-packed second round right there. Wow. Definitely a lot of action, a lot of punches. These girls have a lot of volume they're putting out right now. Take a look at some of the action. Galuzian really undeterred by the attack of Villar. She's coming right at the, the bigger fighter. And so far from what we've seen, the stronger fighter that big left hand, that left hook from Villar staggered Galuzian. When Villar's stepping forward and hitting her punches, they're making contact at range. She's backing up the pit bull. But you know, when uh, the pit bull's up close on her, it's, it's tough for her to get any power generated on those punches when she's trying to throw those straight shots with Galzana in, in her face. We've seen more clean shots land for Noriko so far as the crowd at the Broad Street Ballroom chants her name. Round three now underway. There's that nice jab stepping forward and hitting that range. It's bouncing her head back. And a right hand lands for Noriko, too. Body kick for Jeanette Galuzian, who comes in at 5, 4, and 1. I can see Galuzian put her head in her chest and just start throwing some overhands. You're not going to be able to outrange her with those straight shots, so you got to get inside. Give Galuzian a ton of credit here. She is standing right in the pocket, and she's willing to trade with Villar. She hasn't necessarily been getting the best of the exchanges, but she is not backing down at all. No, she's living up to the nickname. She's a game fighter. I asked her trainer from Rajasi Muay Thai, Francisco Ramos, how Jeanette was anointed with the nickname the Pitbull, and he simply said, you'll see. <laughs> and we are seeing it You're right seeing now. That for sure. Toughness personified by Jeanette Galuzian in this fight after the early combos she ate from Noriko Villar. She has been willing to go shot for shot with Noriko. Villar just seems to be in total control in the clinch. Whenever she touches a rope, she's turning and gaining the center of the ring again, putting her opponent on the ropes. Just well conditioned. Great shape. Under 30 seconds. Villar trying to close the show, but Galuzian hanging tough, sticking some knees in as Villar tries to bully her around. Love to see Villar switch off to try to get that plum up top instead of this over-under position. Kevin Mohal letting him work. You see Galuzian reaching down for everything she has to throw those knees. Switching knees for Galuzian, and there is your bell. Tremendous fight between Jeanette the Pitbull Galuzian and Noriko Villar. Great fight. Wow. These girls showing some real toughness tonight. Surprise. A fun fight to watch. And just impressive, a fir impressive first timer on Friday Night Fights in Jeanette Galuzian. And another strong showing from Noriko Villar, the 40 year old from Fukuoka, Japan. Looks about half that age, the way she's been fighting so far in her career. Tall for the weight class, too, at 115, towering over Galuzian. And again, it was Galuzian. 
really just she had those early took those early shots from Villar. It seemed like early in the round was when Villar did her most da did most of her damage. Yeah, and you then as the rounds went on, Galusian found her footing. Yeah, Valora towards the end of that third round, she kind of just wanted to coast in the clinch, is what it seemed like that last minute. She knew she was ahead on the cards. For our official decision, we send it up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge A, B, and C all see this fight 27 30 in favor of our winner by unanimous decision. Noriko Villar. So Noriko Villar from King's Combat Fitness in Rigo Park improves to 2-0 in her career, but those 30 to 27 scores, Mike Chirico, not really indicative of how much toughness Jeanette Galusian showed in that fight. No, definitely not. It was a close fight. She didn't pull away on any round all too much, but you could tell she was a clear. 30-27. Tough fight, wasn't, you know, super one-sided, but she controlled it from the start to finish each belt. Millar gets the decision on all three judges' scorecards. You are watching Friday Night Fights.